Mad Max Randy here again, working in the garage. Um, today I'm putting on some uh, Global West uh, con lower control arms uh, because the uh, factory control arms on the 76 Trans Am suck ass. So before I get too deep into it, let's just take a look here. There's the uh, Global West trailing arm. It's But the thing I was going to bitch about today was this. This is the insert that goes into the Global West lower control arm. And it looks cool and everything. And if you watch the video, because uh, these damn things cost like $700. And this is no joke. So, um, of course, I like my stuff to have the best. So I always get the good stuff. But this is for Global West, because I'm going to send them this video. Now, look at this. This looks cool. And it, you can index your spring in any position you want if you cut your spring and all that bullshit. Problem is, this thing had like a lip inside here. I've cut it down. But it had like a lip. Let's see here. Here, here, here. All right. Here's the lip. I cut it out. You can't get your damn springs in there. Now, if you put lowering springs in there that are lower, uh, might you might have a better chance but you know what with full length factory springs which I would like to have this sucks this gets all caught up when you're trying to put your spring in there and you know in the instructions they just go yeah just lower it and then put your new spring in and, and raise it well that's you know what that's a bunch of shit Global West that is a bunch of shit now next thing I'm gonna talk about is I was looking at this you know and I'm kind of a smart guy you know I'm not smart ass, but I'm smart. And there's no holes in this. And your spring sits in this. It's like a it's like a bucket. Okay. So when water gets in here, what, what's where's the water gonna be if you left that big lip in here that's about another inch high? About as high as the sidewall, that lip was in there. Your your spring's gonna be sitting there in water. If you get any kind of water in this, your spring's gonna just gonna be sitting there rusting getting all nice and nasty for you plus it catches all kinds of dirt it's gonna be all dirty in there you can have like a little bird nest in there a little bird's gonna make a little nest in this thing and come out and, and go, what the hell's going on with TA there's a bird in it so I'm thinking about drilling holes in this thing to uh, alleviate the water so if it you know maybe just one or two drain holes so it, the water can just get out okay another thing is cut that lip out You'll never get your fucking springs in if you don't. Okay? So, there you go. Global Midwest. Uh, $699. Free shipping. Prime. Amazon. So, $700. You can have lower control arms from Global Midwest. The engineering is pretty cool. Uh, they do a hell of a job on the welds. They look great. I mean, they're nice arms. But this is pissing me off. Um, but... As you can see, I'm knee deep in. I already got one side on, so now I'm on my second side. Yeah, this light sucks. Um, it's another thing we start bitching about: drop lights. I'm gonna have to like make my own custom drop because every drop light I get sucks. Anyway, that's another topic. But uh, there they are. They go on pretty nice. We bolted that one. I had to cut it because the header was in the way. See that? Isn't that nice header right in the way. Okay, so. Global Midwest, you got to do some modification. Um, I guess I'm happy with the design of the trailing arms. They seem really, really good. Um, but that little lower bushing, go on the video and take a look yourself. The guy shows it to you and everything. You're like, wow, it's neat. And then you get it and you're screwed. Okay. Mad Max Randy out. Wish me luck.